What's up guys, Silo here, and a while ago I mentioned I was going to do some form of like UI overview kind of review. Um, basically what this is going to be is I pick out a random UI, doesn't matter if it's popular or unpopular, um, attempt to install it on the video, uh, like have no experience in installing the UI so it kind of gives you an idea of how easy the, in uh, the UI is to install. So you know if it, because some people don't want a, a UI that takes hours to install and it's a load of messing around. Some people literally want a UI that's good to go from the, the download. So hopefully this will give you an idea on how easy the UI is to install, how easy it is to like configure, uh, how lightweight it is, and what the overall, uh, overall UI looks like. So the first one I picked out is called Fundamental UI and we're going to install it. So first of all what you'll want to do is go to your World of Warcraft folder and you'll want to either back up or just completely remove your interface and WTF files. So to do that, you just literally highlight them, copy them, and paste them to wherever you want. So we'll put ours on the desktop, for example. So now that that's done, we can remove them. So make sure they're completely gone, like that. And next up, we can extract the UI. So we're going to highlight these. And we're going to extract them to the World of Warcraft folder. And I did it wrong, so it has put them inside the original file. But if that does happen, that's not an issue. All you do is go inside the folder, copy those, go back, and paste. And that'll put them straight into your main World of Warcraft folder. And then you can just delete that uh, folder. Okay, so the next step is to go inside your WTF folder, go to account, and you need to name your account name to what your actual account name is. So... If you're unsure on what it is, you can go check your old WTF folder and go to account and it'll tell you your current one there. So we're going to go inside the account name and then we're going to go to the server name folder and rename this. And we're going to call it Alonzus. You'll put it to your actual server. So we're going to be using Alonzus in this video. And then it gives you multiple character options. So we're going to call the character SciUI. If you've got multiple characters, you can use these other folders as well to rename them. And if you have multiple servers, just literally copy and paste the server folder and rename that. It's quite simple. So with that out of the way, we are going to launch World of Warcraft and log in and see how it goes. Oops. After a little bit of messing around, we finally managed to log in. The servers are just being derped today. Um, so we're going to right click, or oh, well, left click on the add-ons button on the bottom left. And you want to make sure this is ticked, load out all uh, out of date add-ons, otherwise the UI won't work properly. So make sure that's ticked. And we're also told to disable any classes that we don't play. So in this video we're not going to be using anything but a warrior. So it just helps make the uh, UI a little bit lighter I'd imagine. We're going to disable all of these. With that, let's have a quick look at what add-ons we're using here. So we've got NPC scan, we've got Atlas Loot, Bad Boy, Auto Repair, Bug Sack, Buy em All, Chatter, Click, Fizzle, Grid. A lot of add-ons that I'm not too familiar with, and it does seem to be have a lot of add-ons in here, to be honest. So it's not completely lightweight, it probably could be lighter. But with that out of the way, we are going to log in. Okay, so the UI isn't ready to go just from logging in, it does take a little bit of configuration. Um, so we do need to click on this fundamental UI first of all, and it'll tell you in the chat that it's been set up. And then from here we need to go... Hold on... We need to do slash bar, or slash BT, whichever one works better for you. And then go to profiles and then to Fui on Burning Legion. And then that'll set up your bars so all the bars are now in place and ready to go. Next up, we need to go slash Raven and then to profiles and once again Fui. And then slash chatter if you need to change your chatter at all. You can go to the tabs and we can hide tabs and then we can change the actual font. 
then hide the tabs again and then that helps make the chat a little bit nicer. Next up we need to go to the dummies and make sure you've turned sort of nameplates on. If you're unfamiliar with how to do that on a basic UI it's usually V to turn nameplates on and off. So we next need to type KUI nameplates and within here we need to change the font scale to 0.6 and then reload slash reload. And then the final thing left to do is to right click on the tracking icon and hide it. So there we go. That is the UI set up and ready to go very very quick to be honest it didn't take much configuration at all. Now off the bat I can see things are a little bit too small so let's see if we can up the um, UI scale at all. No, so changing the UI scale will completely break the UI so that's no good. So it is intended to be a little bit like smaller than a normal UI and more sort of minimal um, out of the way. Now it does have grid, if you can see where my mouse is, the grid appears in the middle. This is where everyone's unit frame will be when you're in a raid. So let's try attacking something, see how this goes. Also just show cooldowns for some reason, it's showing me battle pets. Not too sure why, but okay. We just track cooldowns, which is a quite nice feature, so let's use that. And will it track my blood fury now? Ah, so it tracks my blood fury in the middle of the screen. That's a really nice feature. I'm not too sure why it's tracking battle pets. It's kind of weird. Are we able to move this at all? It doesn't seem so. I'd have to use a different add-on to move it. Now the recount's a little bit small, or the, the SCADA's a little bit small. We can change that with slash SCADA config. Um, and what we could even do is remove the healing one and then change the scale on the damage one to fill the whole window and then we can increase the bar font so I'll make that a little bit bigger than it currently is, it is a little bit hard to see so let's see what we've got, so in the top left we have all the sort of character information, spell book you know all the basic um, micro bars Now, for some reason, when you use your normal bags, it'll just open bags. But you have to shift B, and that'll open fan bags. So if you don't want to use the, the different bag interface, don't just use B, you need to use shift B. But this is quite a cool bag add-on. It will allow you to stack and things like that. Um... In the bottom we have the location, we have our latency and we also have the add-on. The add-on is a little bit heavy, it does contain quite a few add-ons which will go a little bit too heavy. Now it seems the nameplates add-on is a little bit out of date as well as you can see it's not always functioning properly. But that's not too bad, that's probably just something that can be fixed in an update. It does do a nice spell effect as well when a uh, cooldown comes off. So overall, not a bad UI at all. Um, quite impressed with this UI. It's very lightweight, very sort of minimal. You get a lot of view space in raids. It's not cluttered with all a load of crap that you don't really need. It just gives you, you know, the basics while giving you everything you would need, I guess. You've got a cooldown tracker. We've got um, a recount. We've got chat unit frames. We've got our party frames in the middle lots of action bars, like plenty of space. Six buttons there, six buttons there, two bars there, and you can probably ha yeah, get some extra bars and hide them if you need more space. So yeah, overall this is a fundamental UI and hopefully you've enjoyed this kind of look at the UI. Overall I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Quite impressive, quite um, minimal could be a little bit lighter does have a lot of add-ons to it which would bring the problem of if a new patch comes out not all those add-ons are going to be up to date and that's an issue some UIs have they put that many add-ons into the UI that when it goes like a new patch comes out a lot of them don't work so the UI doesn't function properly 
um, which is quite a big issue. So that's one thing it could maybe look at is reducing some of the add-ons that aren't needed. You know, make it a lot more minimal, but it, it's not meant to be a fully minimal UI anyway. So yeah, um, there will be a link to download this UI and all sort of rights go to the, the creator and the maker of this UI. So good job whoever made Fundamental UI. Let's see if there's a name. It was created by Shiny. So thank you Shiny and go check out Fundamental UI. Thanks for watching guys. See ya.